Hey guys, I'm going to be doing the Harry Potter impact tag, which was started by Lauren Fairweather and Wise Hufflepuff. Number one is, has Harry Potter changed you as a person in any way? And if so, how? I think it definitely has. The thing is, I was eight when I read Harry Potter for the first time, somewhere around there. And so it's really hard to say how exactly it affected me, just because I've been reading Harry Potter for such a large portion of my life that it's really difficult to say how things would be different if I hadn't read Harry Potter, but I do strongly believe that it's like influenced me in a lot of ways, partially because I've been reading it since I was so young. Like it's really hard to like read something and be as big of a fan of something as I am Harry Potter for that long and for it not to have like a massive effect on your childhood and if something has a large effect on your childhood then it's pretty much shaping you for your entire life. So I definitely think that it's had a huge impact on my life. I d it's really hard to pinpoint the specific ways. I really just think like the overall message of Harry Potter has is just something that's like really really uh, I guess that I'm aware of in my life because of Harry Potter and it's entirely possible that it would have gotten the same message from other um, places if it weren't for Harry Potter, but I'm not sure if it would have resonated with me the way that Harry Potter did, so I don't know if it would be the same. One thing I do know for sure is that Hermione had such a huge impact on me as a kid um, just because I loved to read for as long as I can remember and things like that and seeing a character like her and who was smart, wanted to be like the top of her class, which I was never like the top of my class, but like just seeing her like being really unapologetically into reading and knowledge and things I think really helped to give me confidence as a kid in like kind of validated the fact that I cared about those same things. So I think that that was really beneficial to me as a kid. Two, have you ever made a friend because of Harry Potter? Yes, definitely, both online and in real life, um, in like a large amount of ways. I definitely think like not because it's not just Harry Potter that has like shaped me as a person, but just being part of the Harry Potter fandom since I was pretty much I've been reading Harry Potter and watching the movies and all that since I was around eight but I was around 11 when I started getting into the online fandom um so that's also an extremely long time to be like around other people who also like Harry Potter and things like that so I've definitely made friends in that course of time three what is the most important thing you've learned from the Harry Potter books um, I think this goes back a lot to the how Harry Potter has shaped me question. I definitely think like love being extremely important is something that I've really come to like acknowledge from Harry Potter. I think that the politics in the wizarding world has really shaped how I view things in the same way in the real world. I almost said muggle world which is also true but um just like the idea kind of Hermione's activism towards house elf rights and that whole thing and the blood purity thing is so applicable to real life things in certain ways and I definitely think that growing up reading Harry Potter and seeing how those things were treated did a lot to influence me. I'm Not that I would be like I can't know for sure what exactly my views on those topics would be without Harry Potter, but I do think that Harry Potter had an influence in how I view things along those lines, like civil rights and just social justice issues in general. And I think that Harry Potter like showed me how important standing up for those sorts of things are, and maybe I would have come to the same place with that without Harry Potter, but I can't, again, as I've said a million times in this video, I feel like I can't know for sure. And I definitely think that it's influenced me in that way. Question number four is which character inspires you the most and why? And I think this goes back to the last one too because I could have tacked on Hermione again, the same things I said before. Um, I, when I was a kid it definitely would have been Hermione. Um, I was very 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 like focused on Hermione as a kid I guess you could say. She was my favorite character. I idolized her more than like anyone else and I think that, that I think I needed that as a kid because I think looking back 
on my childhood. I feel like I tried to be Hermione a lot and um because I wanted to be her and I don't think that, that was a bad thing but as I have gotten older I don't think I'm as like Hermione as I used to be mostly because I'm not trying to be like her like I think I might have been doing in the past without really realizing it um I think I became like more comfortable like not just trying to be her and trying to like be more individual I guess even though that sounds kind of like cheesy to say but as I've gotten older I think I've gotten like a stronger appreciation for Ron as a character and I think I've started realizing that I identify with him a lot in a lot of ways that I don't necessarily identify with Hermione and I kind of feel like they're tied now. A lot of Harry Potter characters are inspiring to me in a lot of ways. Luna and Neville are both really big ones that I find really inspiring but I think if I had to choose any it would either be Ron or Hermione. I think Hermione more as a kid and Ron more now. I think if I had to choose who I identify with the most and this is a huge deal for me because I've always said Hermione for this question but I've been thinking about this a lot recently and I really think it might be Ron now. I think I might identify with him the most and I think that as a kid I kind of didn't, I kind of overlooked Ron's importance in the series and I think as I've gotten older it's something that I think about more and I realize how important he is and how admirable the traits that he has are. Like obviously he has flaws too but how admirable his like better traits are and those are more important to me now and so that's kind of risen him up in my like favorite character ranks. He was always like way up there but I think I would have to say Ron now but Hermione is still a really really close second and is probably always going to be like my favorite Harry Potter character or at least tied with Ron just because of the past and how long I identified with her. Number five, have you ever created something inspired by the books? Yes, I still write fanfiction today. I haven't written Harry Potter fanfiction since I was 17, I believe. I think I just looked at it and I think I was 17 the last time I posted a Harry Potter fanfiction. But the first fanfiction I ever wrote was a Harry Potter fanfiction. And I was 11 years old when I wrote that and didn't finish it. I wrote two Harry Potter fanfictions that were my first fanfictions ever and I didn't finish either one of them. But they were still the first fanfictions that I ever wrote and they were the first time I tried to start something. The first fanfiction I ever finished was an Avatar The Last Airbender fanfiction and I think the combination of the Harry Potter fanfiction and that first Avatar fanfiction that I actually finished were really what solidified wanting to be a writer for me too. Like had written things before then but I don't think I had written anything outside of school really and until those Harry Potter fan fictions and I kind of jump started everything and I began writing outside of school after that and like just developing my writing skills which I'm obviously still doing a lot of it through fan fiction and I do have more Harry Potter fan fiction ideas so I don't want to be like done writing Harry Potter fan fiction forever. I actually wrote down Harry Potter fan fiction ideas that I'm really excited about the other day and we'll see when I get around to writing them but I definitely think that my Harry Potter fan fiction was very very important in my like journey of becoming a writer because I do think I'm almost positive that they're the first thing I really wrote that wasn't school related and even if I didn't finish them I did finish Harry Potter fan fictions later on but they were like one shots and shorter I have yet to write a chaptered Harry Potter fan fiction that's actually finished so hopefully one day that happens. Name one cool thing you've done that never would have happened without Harry Potter. The first thing that comes to mind immediately for this is LeakyCon, going to LeakyCon in 2011 and especially the Harry and the Potters show at LeakyCon 2011 I think was like one of the best moments ever for me and seeing the actors there was like a huge deal for me too and just all these people from the fandom who I knew but was actually seeing in person and it was so surreal like that entire experience was so surreal. I still have trouble believing that it actually happened most of the time so definitely that whole experience and just being in the Harry and the Potter show during um, The Weapon was just a very like it felt so 
I, I had never felt so included in the Harry Potter fandom as I did in that moment. But that is all the questions. I know that I rambled a lot because I didn't ramble and go overboard when I'm talking about Harry Potter. And I really don't get to talk about Harry Potter. Well, not, not that I don't get because I choose not to make videos about Harry Potter just because I don't think about it. But I really want to because I love talking about Harry Potter and I can ramble about Harry Potter forever. So I really need to fix that and start making videos about it. But anyway, I'm not going to tag anyone specific. If you want to do this video, feel free and let me know in the comments that you did because I'd love to see it. And that is all. So I will see you guys later. Bye.